the quest for the Enigmatic Codex. Chapter 1 Shadows of Istanbul The year was 1942, and the bustling city of Istanbul served as a crossroads of cultures, teeming with intrigue and hidden secrets. Agent Victoria Sterling, clad in a tailored trench coat and donning a wide-brimmed hat to conceal her identity, navigated the crowded streets with purpose. Her keen eyes scanned the faces and the throngs of people, searching for any sign of those who might be aware of the ancient codex's existence. The scent of exotic spices and the distant calls of merchants blended with the murmur of a thousand conversations. Istanbul's chaotic beauty concealed the covert dance of espionage that played out beneath its vibrant facade. Sterling had received intelligence that the Codex, a relic rumored to hold the keys to an ancient society's hidden power, was believed to be in the possession of a mysterious figure with ties to the city's shadowy underbelly. As Sterling discreetly made her way through the narrow alleys, she noticed the subtle nuances of the city's architecture, a mix of Byzantine and Ottoman influences. Her contacts had hinted that the Codex might be linked to a secret sect that had operated in the region for centuries, wielding influence in the corridors of power. The first clue led her to a dimly lit tea house tucked away from the main thoroughfare. The air inside hung heavy with the fragrant aroma of Turkish tea. Sterling approached a hooded figure seated in a secluded corner, their face obscured by shadows. A whispered conversation ensued, and the informant slid a warm parchment across the table. The parchment bore an intricate map, indicating a series of ancient landmarks scattered across the city. Sterling's heart quickened as she recognized symbols that mirrored those found in historical manuscripts. It was a puzzle, a trail of breadcrumbs leading to the elusive codex. Her journey took her through the labyrinthine passages of the Grand Bazaar, where merchants peddled their wares in a cacophony of languages. Sterling deciphered clues hidden in the artistry of handwoven rugs and the intricate designs of ornate jewelry. Each step brought her closer to the heart of the mystery. As evening descended upon the city, Sterling found herself standing before the Hagia Sophia, its grandeur silhouetted against the darkening sky. The ancient cathedral had witnessed the rise and fall of empires, and now it held a secret that could shape the destiny of nations. In the quiet corners of Istanbul, Sterling unraveled a tale of clandestine meetings and coded messages. The trail led her to the outskirts of the city, where she uncovered a hidden chamber beneath the ruins of an ancient mosque. There, amidst dusty manuscripts and weathered stone, the agent unearthed the first tangible link to the Codex. The artifacts told a story of a society steeped in mysticism and power, guarding the enigmatic Codex for generations. Sterling's pursuit intensified as she deciphered encrypted passages hinting at the Codex's true purpose, one that could either bring enlightenment or unleash chaos upon the world. As she retraced her steps through the moonlit streets of Istanbul, Sterling knew that her mission had only just begun. The Codex's secrets remained elusive, shrouded in the shadows of ancient history and veiled in the complexities of a city where East met West. The adventure had just commenced, and the stakes were higher than ever. Chapter 2 Whispers in the Ruins Victoria Sterling's quest led her from the vibrant chaos of Istanbul to the haunting ruins of Rome. The ancient city, with its crumbling pillars and timeless echoes, beckoned her to delve deeper into the mysteries surrounding the enigmatic codex. As she stepped onto the cobblestone streets, a sense of foreboding mingled with the whispers of a bygone era. 
The journey through Rome's archaeological wonders brought Sterling face to face with the remnants of an empire that once ruled the known world. Among the ruins, she uncovered symbols that mirrored those found in the hidden chamber beneath Istanbul. The codex, it seemed, was intricately linked to the grand tapestry of ancient civilizations. Sterling's investigations led her to the Vatican archives, a repository of knowledge guarded by centuries of secrecy. With cunning finesse, she gained access to dusty manuscripts and aged scrolls, seeking connections between the Codex and the clandestine society she pursued. In the hallowed halls of the Vatican, she discovered references to a sect that had operated in the shadows, its influence stretching far beyond the confines of Rome. In the shadows of the Colosseum, Sterling encountered a mysterious figure draped in a tattered cloak, a guardian of the past who held the key to unlocking the Codex's secrets. The cryptic exchange revealed a path leading to the catacombs beneath the city, where the society had hidden its most sacred artifacts. Descending into the subterranean depths, Sterling navigated through winding passages adorned with ancient frescoes and burial chambers that whispered tales of forgotten souls. The air grew heavy with the weight of history as she deciphered inscriptions hinting at the society's rituals and the significance of the Codex in their arcane practices. The ruins spoke of a power so immense that it transcended time itself. Sterling's pursuit transformed into a race against not only human adversaries, but the relentless march of history. She discovered hidden chambers where the Codex had been safeguarded for centuries, each layer of secrecy revealing a deeper layer of the society's enigmatic purpose. As she ventured deeper into the bowels of Rome, Sterling encountered challenges that tested her resolve. Ancient traps designed to protect the society's secrets lay dormant for centuries, awaiting an intruder. It became evident that the guardians of the Codex were as formidable as the mysteries they sought to conceal. The climax of Sterling's Roman Odyssey unfolded within the sacred chamber where the Codex lay encased in an ornate reliquary. The symbols on its withered pages danced in the flickering candlelight, revealing a narrative that transcended mere historical records. The Codex, it appeared, held the key to unlocking not only the secrets of the society but also the mysteries of human existence. As Sterling emerged from the shadows of Rome, the weight of the Codex's revelations bore heavily upon her. The whispers of the ruins lingered in her ears, urging her to press forward. The adventure had become an unrelenting pursuit of knowledge, with each discovery raising new questions about the nature of power, the passage of time, and the intricate dance between light and shadow. With the cryptic echoes of Rome behind her, Sterling's journey continued, the path of the Codex winding through the annals of history. The adventure was far from over, and the shadows that clung to the agents every step hinted at an unfolding tale that transcended the boundaries of time and space. Chapter 3 Cryptic Pursuits in Paris Following the whispers of the ancient codex, Victoria Sterling's quest led her to the heart of intrigue, beneath the cobblestone streets of Paris, where the city of light concealed its own labyrinth and secrets. The catacombs, with their macabre beauty, served as the next enigmatic stage in the unfolding drama of Sterling's adventure. In the moonlit shadows of Paris, Sterling faced a series of cryptic puzzles that guarded the path to the elusive Codex. The echoes of footsteps reverberated through narrow passages adorned with the skeletal remains of countless souls. The air was heavy with the scent of age, and the flickering candlelight cast eerie shadows on the walls adorned with ancient symbols. Guided by clues obtained in Rome, 
Sterling deciphered the cryptic inscriptions that adorned the catacombs' walls. Each symbol told a story, linking the underground realm to the clandestine society that had safeguarded the Codex through the ages. The journey through the dark recesses of Paris became a dance of intellect and intuition as Sterling navigated the subterranean maze with a relentless determination. Encountering hidden chambers illuminated only by the glow of phosphorescent fungi, Sterling uncovered artifacts that bridged the gap between the medieval secrets of the society and the present-day pursuit of power. The crypts whispered of a shadowy alliance, orchestrating events on the world stage for centuries, and the Codex at the center of it all. As Sterling ventured deeper into the catacombs, the challenges intensified. Ingeniously designed traps and puzzles sought to deter any intruders, but her sharp mind and quick reflexes proved equal to the task. It became evident that the society had gone to great lengths to protect the Codex from those deemed unworthy. The labyrinth unfolded like a tapestry, revealing connections between the catacombs and historical events. Sterling uncovered secret passages that led to forgotten chambers where clandestine meetings had taken place and decisions that shaped the course of nations had been made. The society's influence extended far beyond the confines of the underground city and the Codex was the key to unlocking the full extent of their power. In a chamber adorned with ancient sigils, Sterling discovered a pivotal clue, a map that marked the convergence of ley lines, energy channels believed to hold mystical significance. The intersection point hinted at the location of the Codex's ultimate sanctuary, where the culmination of her journey awaited. With the map in hand, Sterling pressed on, determined to reach the epicenter of the society's hidden realm. The final stretch of her Parisian odyssey took her through forgotten tunnels and chambers that echoed with the footsteps of those who had come before. As Sterling approached the nexus point, a sense of anticipation hung in the air. The society's guardians, aware of her presence, laid down one last challenge, a puzzle that required not only intellect but also an understanding of the interconnected threads of history. In a moment of revelation, Sterling solved the puzzle and the pathway to the sanctum of the Codex opened before her. The chamber, bathed in an ethereal glow, housed the ancient manuscript encased in a protective sheath. The symbols on its pages seemed to pulse with a life of their own, resonating with the accumulated wisdom of centuries. As Sterling reached out to grasp the Codex, the air shimmered with unseen energies. The catacombs bore witness to the culmination of her journey, and the shadows that had trailed her through Istanbul and Rome now converged in the heart of Paris. The Codex, a repository of secrets and a conduit to the mysteries of the past, held the power to reshape the world or bring about its downfall. With the Codex in hand, Sterling emerged from the depths of the catacombs, the echoes of her footsteps signaling the beginning of a new chapter in the adventure. The City of Light, with its cryptic history, faded behind her as the next phase of the quest unfolded. The whispers of the catacombs lingered, and the enigma of the ancient manuscript held the promise of revelations yet to come. Chapter 4 Unveiling the Enigma As Victoria Sterling emerged from the depths of the catacombs beneath Paris, the weight of the Codex cradled in her arms, she knew that the final chapter of her enigmatic adventure was about to unfold. The ancient manuscript, pulsating with untold power, seemed to hum with a resonance that echoed through the corridors of time. With the cryptic whispers of the catacombs lingering behind her, Sterling returned to the surface, where the glow of the moon bathed the city in ethereal light. Paris, 
with its majestic architecture and timeless allure, became the backdrop for the grand finale of her quest. The codex, held close to her chest, bore witness to the secrets embedded within its pages, secrets that held the key to the destiny of a secret society and, perhaps, the world itself. The journey from Istanbul's crowded streets to the ruins of Rome and the depths of Paris had been a relentless pursuit of knowledge and a dance with the shadows of history. Sterling's sharp mind and tenacious spirit had carried her through puzzles, traps, and encounters with the guardians of the Codex. Now, standing at the crossroads of destiny, she faced the ultimate challenge to unlock the final secrets of the Enigma. The map obtained in the catacombs guided Sterling to a secluded location on the outskirts of Paris. The convergence of ley lines drew her to an ancient chapel, its facade withered by centuries of existence. As she entered the dimly lit chamber, the atmosphere crackled with unseen energies, and the symbols on the codex seemed to respond to the sacred surroundings. In the center of the chapel, an intricately carved pedestal awaited the codex. Sterling placed the manuscript on its designated resting place, and a hushed energy filled the air. The symbols on the pages glowed with an otherworldly light, casting a kaleidoscope of colors that danced across the chapel's stone walls. As the manuscript settled into its rightful position, the chapel's architecture came alive. Hidden mechanisms activated, revealing secret passages and concealed alcoves. The ancient sanctuary transformed, and Sterling found herself standing in a chamber adorned with murals depicting the history of the secret society. Each mural told a story, an epic narrative of power, betrayal, and the eternal struggle between light and shadow. Sterling's eyes traced the chronicles of the society's rise and fall from its clandestine origins to its influence on pivotal moments in history. The Codex, it seemed, was not merely a repository of knowledge but a living record of the society's legacy. As Sterling delved deeper into the chamber, she discovered a council room where the society's leaders had convened for centuries. The spirits of the past seemed to linger in the air, observing her every move. The Codex, now at the heart of the chamber, emanated a radiant glow, its secrets ready to be unveiled. In the midst of the chamber, a holographic projection materialized, an apparition of the society's enigmatic leaders. They spoke in ancient tongues, their voices echoing with the wisdom of ages. The revelation of the Codex's purpose unfolded, a tool to balance the forces of good and evil, safeguarding humanity from the misuse of its power. However, the shadows that had pursued Sterling throughout her journey were not so easily dispelled. A rival faction, aware of the Codex's significance, descended upon the chamber, seeking to seize the ancient manuscript for their own dark purposes. The final confrontation erupted into a battle of wills and wits, echoing through the hallowed halls of the secret society's sanctum. As Sterling faced her adversaries, the Codex became a focal point of the struggle. Its power surged, casting a protective aura around her. The ancient manuscript, it seemed, recognized Sterling as a guardian chosen to ensure its proper use. The rival faction, blinded by their lust for power, underestimated the true nature of the enigma they sought to control. In the climax of the confrontation, the Codex unleashed its power, enveloping the chamber in a dazzling display of energy. The rival faction, consumed by their own ambitions, recoiled as the ancient forces surged against them. The echoes of the struggle reverberated through the chamber, and the Codex's protective aura shielded Sterling from harm. 
As the rival faction retreated, defeated by the very forces they sought to harness, a profound silence settled upon the sanctum. The holographic apparition of the society's leaders spoke once more, expressing gratitude for Sterling's role in preserving the delicate balance between light and shadow. With the Codex now revealed in its true essence, Sterling knew that her adventure had come to an end. The enigma that had propelled her across continents, through ancient ruins and cryptic catacombs, had been unraveled. The Codex, once a source of mystery and danger, now stood as a guardian against the forces that sought to tip the balance. As Sterling emerged from the secret society's sanctum, the moonlit streets of Paris bore witness to the conclusion of an extraordinary journey. The shadows that had clung to her every step dispersed, and the echoes of the Codex's revelation lingered in the air. The enigmatic adventure had left an indelible mark on Victoria Sterling, and the ancient manuscript, now entrusted to her care, held the wisdom of centuries, a beacon in the perpetual dance between light and shadow. Please watch the other videos from our playlists. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep updated with new captivating mysteries.